If you happen to see the video I recorded last week, you'll know that I talked about the real estate market showing signs of a cool down or a slowdown. But if the market's cooling or slowing, why are home prices still going up? Hi, this is Andrew with the Andrew Smith team at EXP Realty. So if you ever wonder also why they call it a dog's life, that's why. My, uh, my trusty assistant and companion, Bailey, there, who is uh, hard at work, as you can see. So anyway, with regards to these home prices, what in the world is going on? The market out there for buyers has been absolutely brutal. And one of the questions I get all the time from potential buyers is, when is it going to change? You know, what goes up must come down. When is this going to go? And I read this story and I read that story. And we've talked about that a lot. And I'm not going to go into the details of that in this video. But I invite you to look in the description below. And I've got links to a couple of videos that I recorded recently that do go into that. But I did want to touch on appreciation. And what do I mean by the market cooling? Well, the real estate market right now, as we've been saying for months, the prices are going up because of an imbalance in supply and demand. There, there's no other underlying factor. It's not pure speculation. It's not a bunch of other loans. It's not predatory lending. None of that stuff exists. It is people wanting to buy. Housing needs from COVID changed. People were able to work from home. They're moving from higher priced areas, selling their properties, moving to areas that were lower priced, that have seen tremendous growth and are now working remotely. They've brought those wages with them. It's not as like they're all having to find jobs in the new market. Some are. Then depending on the market you're in, like here in Frisco, Texas, there's a lot of companies moving in with high paying jobs that are relocating to this area. So they're raising the income levels in a given area, which is also pushing home prices up. So if you're sitting on the sidelines right now thinking, well, home prices are going to fall in six months, I don't think they are. And if you think they're going to fall next year, I don't think they are either. Um, there's no signs of it unless something completely unexpected happens. And that's not just my opinion. So just so all of you know, I belong to a, a service called Keeping Current Matters. And what they do is they compile information from major news outlets, not even news outlets, but major research institutions, right? And all of the major institutional lenders, the National Association of Realtors, Zillow, Realtor.com, uh, First American, I, I could keep going. And they compile all of that information and they share it back with their members so that the information I'm providing you again, is coming from a compilation of all of those different sources. So specifically in home price appreciation, where are we right now? It honestly depends on whose data that you look at, but the prices year over year are currently nationwide running about 16 to 18% above where they were a year ago. The Federal Housing Finance Agency show prices are up 18% year over year. CoreLogic are showing 17.2% and S&P Case-Shiller are showing that the home prices are 16.6% higher. The variation is because they all calculate in slightly different ways, but it's obvious here that whether it's 16 or whether it's 18, prices are going up and they're going up quickly. So where does this cooling come into, into account? Well, what we're starting to see in several markets is we're starting to see a slight increase in inventory, right? Right now, we have massive buyer demand and very low supply. That's creating the supply demand imbalance that's causing home prices to go up. Very similar to buying a car right now. Drive by and you probably notice the dealer lots are virtually empty. Try and negotiate. Good luck with that. They're not budging off price. And in many cases, those are selling for more. So very, very similar. It's just simple supply and demand. What's going on right now? As a matter of fact, the National Association of Realtors, quarter two 
2021 home price report just came out and it says home price gains and the accompanying housing wealth accumulation have been spectacular over the past year. Spectacular if you're a homeowner, not spectacular if you're trying to buy a home. In fact, 99% of the metro areas included in the study, which is all of the major metro areas, saw year over year price gains in many cases, double digits, right? So it's crazy what's been happening. And it's not just nationally that this is going on. You know, obviously we said that nationally we've got about 18% price appreciation year over year. Here in Frisco, we're at 23.5% year over year. In neighboring Prosper, I'm at 26, 27.6%. I mean, spectacular year-over-year -year appreciation. The other area where my team is located in Southern California, Temecula, we're at 28 and a half year-over-year -year price appreciation, right? And in neighboring Marietta, you're at 29.3. And what that means is homes are going up fast. And it is starting to slow down with regards to the number of buyers in the market compared to the number of sellers. So for instance, in Frisco right now, homes are selling on average for 106.4% of list price, 105% of list price in Prosper, 103% of list price in Temecula, California, 104% of list price in Marietta, California. But those are all down from where they were last month and the month before. So there's not quite as many bidding wars going on, or at least there's not as many offers coming in on properties, depending on location and depending on price point. But it's still an extremely competitive market. So the cooling last week that I was referring to was the indication that a slight shift was occurring. You've got more sellers starting to jump into the market and take advantage of the appreciation that's taken place. And you've got the buyers that really need to buy are in there and they're committed, but you're not quite seeing as many bidding wars. You're seeing some properties stay on the market just a little bit longer. And you're seeing the overall number of homes for sale slowly, slowly start to tick up. But you know, we spend a lot of time talking about affordability and home prices, but it's not just home prices, it's rent as well. In many cases, the decisions, do I buy or do I rent? On home prices, not only have they been going up, but rents have been going up faster. In fact, a recent report from Zillow showed that as of today, a homeowner spends approximately 19.4% of their income on the mortgage payment. If you rent, that number is 30% approximately 30% of income is going to rent. By the end of the year, it's forecast that the rent will increase to 30.2% of your income to satisfy the rent. And the home buyer, the amount to satisfy your mortgage payment, your monthly housing expense is actually going to rise to 23.1%. That's more, but 23.1 is still a lot less than 30. So it's not cheaper to rent right now, which is also what's causing people to come into the housing market. And Odetta Kuchi is a deputy chief economist at First American, and she kind of said it best recently. She said, for those trying to buy a home, rapid house price appreciation can be intimidating and makes the purchase more expensive. However, once the home is purchased, the appreciation helps build equity and becomes a benefit rather than a cost. When accounting for the appreciation benefit in our rent versus own analysis, it was cheaper to own in every one of the top 50 markets in the entire country, including the two most expensive markets of San Francisco and San Jose, California. So if that decision is out there on do I rent or do I buy, Right, right now, with interest rates still well below 3%, it's cheaper to buy if you can get into a house. And even if you've paid a little bit more than you wanted to, the appreciation gain that we're seeing right now is offsetting that to a certain extent. 
So when is it going to improve? Well, it doesn't look as though it's going to improve drastically anytime soon. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I put out a report that shows the large financial institutions are forecasting home price appreciation all the way through 2026. But everybody is expecting the pace of appreciation to start to taper down. As mentioned at the beginning, we're looking at an average of 17, 18% year over year price appreciation nationally. Next year, the average of all of the studies is about five and a half percent. So that's a big drop. Five and a half percent is still incredibly healthy appreciation, considering the historical average is 3.8 but it's obviously nowhere near the 18% nationally we've been experiencing or the 23 to 29% I've been experiencing in the markets where my team operates currently. So if you're in the market to buy, again, you've got to make the decision that's best for you. But while those interest rates are at near record levels, um, you know, as prices continue to go up, as interest rates go up, the amount you're able to afford and qualify for goes down. It's important to keep that in mind. And if you're in the market to sell, if the pace of appreciation starts to slow, the time and, and the number of multiple offers is slowing down, as I mentioned, timing to sell sooner rather than later may not be a bad decision for you because the more people that are interested in your home, the higher the likely sales price is going to be. As always, I hope uh, this information has been useful to you. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to reach out. And, and, and again, I'm not suggesting that home prices are gonna go up continually forever. I know that they're not, but I am saying right now with all of the conditions that we see and all the forecasts are out there, it's not expected that we're going to see any depreciation in home prices in the next couple of years. And to close on that last point, you will start to see some price reductions, but don't confuse those with a depreciating market. There are certain homes where the sellers were trying to price their home ahead of the market and it was just too high. For those sellers, if they truly want to sell, they're having to bring those prices down in line with current market conditions or market values, I should say. So again, hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.